Yes, so blessings, blessings, my people, blessings to each and every one. This is a check in, come for give you guys some updates. Hope everybody being blessed here. Blessers are with first time over the Just Blex TV. Just press the subscribe button for free. Notification bell, all you're not even have to make a call. Well, peeps, for those who went out this morning, reach home safe now, watch and listen in the Just Blex TV. Just let the Almighty be praised because I him a letting over this. Peeps, just like up the video, please, and thank you very much. Well, this is some officer's number. Certainly, division when we say officers, we mean JCF members or JCF on a wall. Yeah, my people. So, what I go do if I do the talking, it's going to take too long. So, what I go do, I go just make you guys just take a quick stroll through. Me soon forward back up top and blessing. All right, my people. Yeah, my people, to reach out to any, you know, police station in any division, those are the phone numbers. But anyway, PNP Councillor for Marant Bay Division Run Washi Brian passed away due to a heart condition. Right, my people? Yes, uh, Jassy B. We just say condolences goes out to family, friends, and loved ones, you know? Yeah, man, of uh, Brian. Jaja, just as a earth, you know, run away. Today, you're there, tomorrow you're gone. So, peeps, veteran St. Mary Cup dies. Yeah, man, and that's a go on, and what a go on right now, run a St. Mary side, you know. Jaja, and peeps, every day, you know, you know, you have to just listen out. So, the St. Mary Police Division is once again in mourning following the passing of yet another member of its detention and courts unit, dead is 60 year old Calvin Dripbar Smith. He had been ailing for some time and died at the Anatoly Hospital on Tuesday. Smith served the Jamaica Constable Force for more than 30 years. Right, my people, so this man is whole and strong. They are just uh, hoping he could have lived, you know. Long, 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 but so it goes, you know. Family of a carrier and condolences goes out, you know. To the real, 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 real deal, you know, Jazz CB. So, peeps, motorcyclist crashes into bridge and dies in Portland. Yeah, my people, that a guan pan, what a guan star, Jazz CB. I could have why, man, that's some rum or something because this not up. 30 year old Romaru Reed died as a result of injuries he sustained in a motorcycle crash on Woodstock Main Road in Portland on Wednesday. The police say about 12.30 a.m. Reed was riding a motorcycle along the roadway when he reportedly lost control of the vehicle and crashed into a bridge. The police were summoned and Reed was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Jaja style. Jaja, you know. My people is like, Jano, I don't know what I'm going, but from bike get too much in Jamaica, people are dead hard. 
Ja, ja. How does I say, peeps? Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So, St. Elizabeth Farmer killed in Elim gun attack. The community of Elim in St. Elizabeth has again an edge following Tuesday's murder of a 43-year-old farmer. So, Grasset Griffiths was killed when two masked gunmen attacked patrons at a shop. Right, my people? Just see me in St. Elizabeth. You know, quiet, quiet St. Elizabeth right now. That's a place they call Elim. Yeah, man, them on the edge. Because trust me, style around the know that you know, around the serious right now. We just hope for the best and things. So, peeps, body of man with multiple gunshot wounds found in Clarendon. Yes, my people, style. Look at the screen, yeah, man. This is the man. So, peeps, investigators assigned to the Maypen Criminal Investigations branch in Clarendon are seeking the public's help as they probe the murder of 69 year old man whose bullet riddled body was found along Foga Road in Four Path. The deceased has been identified as Gifford Turlan of a Cherry Tree Lane address in the parish. Right, my people, just see me. I'm just a say if you want, you know, get more, you can just run, go over to the gleaner. Yes, I just see me. So, peeps, yeah, man, bartender gone down on second day at work in Manchester. Yes, uh, the man named Ronison uh, player, you know, second in within weeks. A uh, bartender was shot dead on her second day on the job in New Green, Manchester, during a reported armed robbery. The incident took place on Wednesday afternoon. Well, robbery peeps, this is just a local thing for get at, for make for sure people have, but a target. Yeah, man, and this is the second female when we see get gone down in a week's same place in a Manchester. I was going around there, so. Moving over, Kim and Kimi, nicely, four man, wanted for assault at Kamala, an illegal possession of a firearm, frequent stale lawn, bull bay. Right? Yeah, man. So, Kimi, please turn yourself in before you burn yourself in. So, Kevin Marshall, Ked man, Kev man, Cole, wanted for double murder, frequent St. George's Road and Glasspool Avenue, Rock Fort. Turn yourself in before you wanna burn on yourself in. Moving over again, peeps, we are Stephen Evil Boss Myers wanted for murder and shooting with intent. Frequency 19 Grand Ridge. Yes, Park Nannyville, right? Yeah, goes by the name Evil Boss. So the man responds to a couple knockings, couple people, you know. Yeah, man, and alive. So, peeps, two firearms is doing coordinated operations in St. Andrew North. Yeah, my people, star, Jassy B. So, peeps, you saw them rifle they look. The rifle they look like it, <laughs> it take a look of life. Whole heap of life. So, uh, one man is now in police custody following the siege of two firearms and several rounds of ammunition during a coordinated operation in Cruzia Gully, Grand mm-hmm. Spain, St. Andrew. One shotgun, a 9mm pistol, yes my people, 12 9mm rounds and 5 shotgun cartridges were seized during the operation. So members of the St. Andrew North Division, headed by Superintendent of Police Sherika Service, were joined by JDF Soldier, the Caribbean Search Center, Special Operation CTAC and the K-9. Right my people, so when them just rise with the K-9 to cut the crime. Yeah, because they're my old money are they sour like lime. Yes, I just see me. But anyway, my people, look at the screen. This is a missing female. She's missing from Saturday, right? And right now, her family and relatives, them out right now, need some information can lead to this girl. Yeah, safety. So, peeps, just look on the image because I'm not get much information. Two of them have up there and things. So, just like up the video, you know, people. Yeah, man, like up the video because you don't know the whole measurement. So, peeps, this is another missing look of young youth. Yeah, my people, don't get much info either, but we just have to put them out there so people can know what go on. Yeah, man. So, peeps, just see me. Look at the screen. This is Ocean Francis, a.k.a. Brocan. Right, my people? Yes, so Asian... <laughs> Police, yeah man, the Asian National Police arrested two Jamaican men in Limbe, a commune 16 miles south of Cap Asian. The men, 25 year old Ocean Brocan Francis, who is sought in Jamaican multiple murder charges, and 31 year old Jason Latouche, were reportedly e- to the police by local residents who suspect they were armed. The police spokesperson for the Northern Department confirmed that Francis is a known fugitive in Jamaica. We are grateful to the community for their vigilance and will continue encouraging them to report any unusual activities, said 
Oral Jean, the police spokesperson to the Agent Times. Right, my people? Yes, yeah, so this man and Jason Latouche, two dangerous criminals, them. Yeah, to the, and see you, man, this news that you have all, what, Sheldon Luton, Preke Boy, go there and reach back home safe, in lucky and still gone dead. So, three million Jamaican worth of fake curry seized in Mandeville, my people. Yeah man, 3 million Jamaican worth of fake curry style. The police have seized 3.2 million worth of counterfeit curry at Lynn's MD supermarket and wholesale in Mandeville, Manchester. One Chinese national has been arrested. Deputy Superintendent of Police Victor Barrett, who heads the Intellectual Property Rights Unit in the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigations Branch CTAC provides the details right my people just see me i am on a curry when me eat for our day man if you wonder if my why my belly i go along some more while moving over again peeps missing kaylan martin 815 last seen on april 27 2024 wearing a purple shirt black tights she's of dark complexion slim built if seen called the barnet streets police 119 emergency or the nearest police station. And in the meantime, people just make a prayer for the nation. Because a job we know from creation. Yeah, my people, you don't know the whole measurement, you know, some look work are going up in a mirror, you know, where they might try to chop out some stone for build a road like 2000 uh, highway. 2000 highway, my people. Yeah, highway 2000. Well, peeps, what really are going on, you know, it's just that me get a look over it. allegedly say right now, you know. I want to lie, I'm going to build the road, say I want to pretty wife drive upon this road. And uh, what again, no, you know, me say, wellness did I try to fight it, Miss Wellness. But then come to some agreement because to the way the man I go about it, she say, you if you stop one at a time, but then come to some agreement. But anyway, my people, you don't know the whole meds. Peace, I am out, without a doubt. Big up the east, west, and north, and the south, up top. Ain't no blessing, ain't no stressing. No, if not, but now what? Me not guessing. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blacks. Just Blacks tell them some prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blacks, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?